then Travis just fell asleep during the movie. Just like that. Ugh, the nerve of him. How dare he fall asleep during such a classic. I know, the notebook is so romantic. Hmm, <laughs> maybe he isn't good enough to romance my daughter. Dad, Travis may not stay awake for super sappy movies, but he's very sweet in his own way. Sure he is. Dad. <sighs> Fine. I'm just teasing you, Sugar P. I'll give him a chance if he means that much to you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Aww, <laughs> that's so sweet. So tell me about yourself, Nicole. How's your love life going? <laughs> My love love life? <sighs> yeah, how are things going with Dante? <sighs> well... Things aren't really going. Hmm? Huh? I was going to tell you before, but I wanted you to get better. Dante... <laughs> Dante was a huge jerk and didn't want to be my boyfriend! <laughs> oh, that's all? What do you mean, that's all? What does that mean? I mean, Nicole, when did you guys make it official you were dating? <laughs> when did we make it official? Um, well, he told me he loved me. That isn't establishing a relationship. You two need to communicate and actually say you're a thing. That's how mature relationships work. Plus, Nicole, sweetie, let's face it. You have a tendency to overthink things and make up relationship statuses. Hey, it's complicated is a valid relationship status on the Facebook! Who even uses Facebook these days? Get with the time, sister! Ugh. Ugh, maybe I do. I just really can't face Garth, Travis, or Dante after the whole incident. I mean, who else knew aside from me about Jenna? Well, I knew. I just didn't think you and Dante were- Wait! Travis knew?! Yeah, I talked with Gareth this morning. He told me everything. Dante had good intentions, but was just too afraid to say something. Can't imagine why. Caitlin, did you know about Travis knowing? Nope. Hmm, sounds kinda shady to me. Well, Dante and Travis are best friends. It's not like Caitlin and Travis are a couple. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, Caitlin, when did you guys make it official that you were dating? I both love and hate you sometimes. Nicole does got a point. You guys aren't officially dating. He didn't even tell you about Dante being a player. Girl, he be trifling. Travis! Whoops. She'll be fine. Can't say much for Travis, though. But enough about that. Here, sweetie, drown your boy's sorrows in some strawberry puffs. <laughs> so yummy! <laughs> I'll kill you for not telling me, Travis! <laughs> So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting F now, she hates me. Nonsense, Aaron. We're gonna get you some quality time with my mom. She just needs to hang out with you more. <laughs> well, I'm all for spending time with you. <laughs> You're too sweet. <laughs> <sighs> Where in the world could she be? You'd think she'd be with Eric and his strawberry puffs. Hmm. Isn't that her over there? Hmm? Ah! Yeah! That is her! Mom! Hey! Oh, Fmo! Mia! I'm so glad you're here! I'm so glad we found you! We wanted to see if you. I just ran into the perfect man for you today! Huh? Seriously? Fmo? Meet Jean! Hey there! Long time no see. Mom! That's... Jean! I know! Isn't that a cute name? 
<laughs> so much better than Aaron. Rude. No! Mom! That's Gene! I knew him in high school. He was a jerk to me! He was? Really? You never spoke of him. Uh, no one would want to speak of him. Silvana, allow me to explain. Back in high school, I really was a jerk to half now. I was really stupid back then. I was going through a lot of stuff. Athmau, I'm really sorry for everything. Can we start over? Do you remember what you did to us? You tried to! I know, I know, but... Mom! All right, you three. You all need to talk this out. You're all adults now. It's time to leave these little grudges in the past. Really? Yes! Now, let's talk over lunch. On me! Huh? But I just met you and I... Come on! Food solves everything! Let's go! Travis! 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 Mmm, cake. Beautiful, isn't it? Garth, it looks amazing. I know. It always looks as good as my mummies. Hey. Okay. Uh, do you guys have a cake? It smells like cake in here. What? A cake? What are you talking about? Cake? Who, who, who would have a cake? Yeah. How do you even smell anyway with that mask on? How do you not feel pain from the ugly on your face? Ooh. How would you know with all that hair over your eye? Ooh. Whatever. It's not like I wanted a piece or anything. Cupcakes are better anyways. They're just tiny cakes! Whew, he's gone. Now come on, Garth, we gotta eat this cake before... Travis! Caitlin! Why didn't you tell me about Dante and Nicole? What do you mean? Dante was lying to Nicole and you covered for him? I didn't cover for him, I just didn't tell you. Mm, well, I guess that makes sense. Wait, is that cake? You're eating cake after you and I went on an exercise binge and swore off sweets together? Wait, don't use this against me. This is a whole different thing completely. How can I trust that? Caitlin, come on. No, Travis. This isn't about cake. This is about Nicole. I wanted to be there for her to help her. You know I love her like a sister and wanted to help her. You know that. I guess you're right. I just... I didn't think about you, that's all. Oh, Travis, you done messed up. What? It's the truth, I... <laughs> you, Caitlin? You jerk! Looks like Dante isn't the only one who doesn't think before he speaks. Caitlin, babe, where are you going? Baby, wait! Don't you Caitlin babe me! You know how I feel about pet names, Travis! Hmm? Caitlin? I totally saw this coming. Huh? Caitlin's hot-headed like me when it comes to relationship stuff. I've been her friend long enough to know this. She's like a big teddy bear, but with emotions. Dangerous killer emotions. Hmm. Well, looks like Dad's gotta fix this. All right, you two. Huh? We're going out to lunch now. We are gonna get along. Dad. I am a man. I can deal with this alone. <sighs> okay, save me, please. Caitlin, stop trying to kill Travis. Look. I don't like him, but if he makes you happy... He's not making me happy right now! Even so... He was eating a cake! Not the special strawberry puffs I slaved over for hours for your stupid diet?! Oh no... Now this is nice. 
So, Jean, why are you here? Afmo! It's all right, Silvana. I've got an interview here for a job on the island. I'm only here for a week, so... Good. I'm glad I got to see you, Afmo. Ha. <laughs> I really was a jerk to you in high school, and for that I'm really sorry. You don't have to forgive me, but I'm glad to see you're doing well. Uh, thanks, I guess. I hope maybe you can give me a second chance. Things are kind of rough for me right now, and I'm just trying to make up for past mistakes. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Jean. Oh, you poor thing. Please, ma'am. I don't need pity. A half mile smile is enough. Oh, how sweet! It's just as bright as that star in the evening sky. A star? What the? Huh? Wait. That's no star. <laughs> I think something might have happened between Caitlin and Travis. Nice throw, Dad! No one makes my sugar pee upset! That's right, Dad, you tell him! Even if she is an over-sentimental teddy bear! Say what? Nice throw, sweetheart! You know I hate pet names! I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so... Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town.